Now, a lot of our forecasts are dependent on weather data from weather satellites, but Storm Team meteorologist Lindsay Rachel tells us about an emerging technology that has the science community concerned. Verizon, AT&T, we've all seen the commercials. 5G is the next generation of mobile broadband. And it will be making uh, things faster and um, enhance the, the kind of types of applications and, and expand the types of applications that people can use their, their smart devices for. More data and faster too? That sounds great, but the science community is concerned about its location on the electromagnetic spectrum. It happens to be right next to the frequencies NOAA and NASA satellites use right now to sense water vapor in the atmosphere. And that's really important for tracking storms. Not only is it close, but scientists are worried that 5G is going to be a noisy neighbor. Lindsay, could you kind of keep it down? That's kind of interfering with me making the forecast. Oh, so sorry, Jim. Thanks. According to studies by NASA and NOAA, this interference could degrade forecasts up to 30%. Neil Jacobs, the head of NOAA, told Congress that could set forecasting back to the 1980s, reducing hurricane warning time by two or three days. The effects won't be noticed immediately. The rollout of 5G is going to take time. That space was only just auctioned off by the FCC for nearly $2 billion this past March. It's a lot of money for the operators to build up, um, upgrade their 4G networks to 5G, and so they're going to be um, kind of... Uh, smart about their investments where they get the most return and most users. Meanwhile, scientists continue to perform studies and push for stricter limits so 5G doesn't bleed into their weather data. Some of these opportunities, innovation opportunities that 5G brings are so uh, transformative and, and uh, revolutionary that it will be a long-term process to figure everything out and we have to design you know, new laws and new regu regulations to, to enable some of these things. So that both life-changing technologies can coexist in the long term. Lindsay Rachel, News Channel 9.